Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. So guys, for those of you watching this video, brand new, fresh, we're probably gonna be leaving a uh, comment pinned for the settings video to put this at the very top uh, for the updated settings. We'll be doing that as the year progresses because when there's millions of people playing this game, some people are gonna figure out some things that are very, very effective to use, okay? So shout out to the homie Khan. I will be leaving a link to the thread down below in the comment section to show you guys how good this new defensive mechanic is in this game, okay? Because even I have problems with defending, right? Because the movement and stuff, but this new mechanic is gonna be a really, really big game changer for a lot of people, okay? So, OP defending mechanic. Defending in FIFA and FC24 has been a pain. For a lot of people, it has been. With defenders lacking recovery speed and even top defenders have been beaten easily, I figured out how to rectify that and be able to defend consistently with this new mechanic as shown below. I'm going to show you guys this right now. I've never seen this mechanic before, right? Uh, I haven't seen my opponents use it, and I haven't seen I haven't seen it, right? And you're going to see the different animation choices that some of the players make, right? So this, you can already see it looks glitched out in a sense, right? Look, you hold it. Thiago Silva actually goes into the challenge there, right? Some defensive situations here too. That's probably an interception. Look at this one from Grimaldo. Look at this one from Grimaldo. This one's crazy. Possession-based as well, right? You're going to see that's uh, he's showing the example here with Barella. Boom. Barella gets the ball. Boom. Grimaldo gets the ball possession based. Manu manual interceptions actually working as well, right? So this could be this is a really big thing, guys, because this will actually allow you to do the manual stuff in this game on a pretty consistent basis, right? So in this thread, I'll show you how to do it, which players can use it and give you many example uh, examples of this being tried out against great cards like Neymar, Dabinga, Alex Morgan and more. Here is another example of 1.7k Thiago Silva versus 150k 5-star, five 5-star five Dabinia, right? So with, um, let me just do this. That's a big difference, man. That's a big, the, the whole bar gel, that's crazy. See, that's why I mentioned in the settings video too that like, it, it was weird for me at first, but it might actually be worth getting used to, you know? That's actually pretty crazy to be able to do that on a manual level, right? That's really good. Uh, so how can we do this? First, go to game settings and under defending, select advanced defending. This should allow you to use the seal out controls, right? This is a this is the thing we were talking about, right? Where it's like you can individually choose now. So the first one is going to be for tackles, which you press B or circle and your advanced defending will now allow you to do the seal out animation, which is holding A or yeah, just holding A basically, right? So again, might be worth turning this on uh, depending on the types of defenders that you actually end up having. So again, there's going to be an adjustment period, right? So the reason why I switched to tactical right away is because I didn't want to get used to that adjustment period, but it might actually be uh, worth doing, right? Not might, it's probably going to be. Uh, when you're close to the opponents with the ball, press X, A pass button to trigger a seal out animation. This will cause your defenders to go for the ball and retrieve it without committing to a challenge. Those are new animations added to this as mentioned in the pitch notes, right? So this is obviously a really big deal. The way to do this back in the day was to hope that the animation would actually come off. You would press the tackle button, circle B, and then you would, your player would be aggressive towards getting the ball, but he wouldn't fully get it. You know what I'm saying? Now, this works for all players, but there are certain play styles that make this incredibly OP. The play styles you're looking for are the anticipate, which I have mentioned to you guys all the time that Veron having the anticipate is crazy to work with, right? Anticipate and bruiser play styles. Here is the official example of the anticipate play style. We know this is this is EA's version of doing a possession-based challenge, right? Which, to be fair, I wish it was for more of the defenders, but it is what it is. Uh, the bruiser play style is the one where it does a more forced animation out of the player. In the play style video, I was looking at this. I'm like, I haven't really noticed this stuff too much. But obviously, if you have both of the traits and they're more aggressive towards pushing towards the ball that's going to be a pretty crazy thing to work with, right? So you can look for players that have both these play styles from this list. Let's see Bremer who has both the Anticipate and Bruiser play styles, right? So these are a few players you can work with to be able to get this specific play style. So Bremer is probably going to go up in price, to be honest with you, because this is going to be a really insane mechanic that people are definitely going to start using for sure. Here is an example of just how incredibly effective Bremer is doing the physical seal out. Not only will he automatically lunge for the ball, he will get between the ball and the player to make sure you have the best chance of retrieving it, right? So let's take a look at the example here that he has. So he makes the pass here. 
and you can see that he has his L1 set on Bremer, right? So if he presses L1 in this situation and he holds the A button, he can get the ball easily. It's not even a foul. He just bullies the person completely, right? So obviously for uh, the females, the body types and stuff, they're going to get bullied, right? Or if you have players like Correa, Ben Yedder, uh, those smaller players are probably going to get bodied as well. So the physical guys might be a little bit helpful in these situations. The target man guys meta is going to change as the game progresses obviously right the play style will be the same but the meta will be a little bit different from time to time so some interesting stuff there for sure uh this is also a really a great inside the box where you don't want to risk giving away a penalty with a player like tiago silva who has anticipate play style plus you can stop the cutback and get the ball out with uh without too much risk of a foul so this is a huge meta in this game right the the whole cutback situation so let's see how it works here Yeah, that's pretty crazy, man. Using the physical to get the ball back in that situation is really nuts, actually. This is going to be the exact same thing as last year's game, where the lengthy was going to be like a really huge thing that people talked about in the beginning of the game. This year, it's this defending thing. It, um, it's going to be this for sure. But yeah, I definitely noticed a difference in that for sure. You're going to have to get used to it because they're two different uh, things now. So um Here's another example of Thiago Silva against Alex Morgan, one of the best strikers in the game. Watch how he gets between her and the ball, blocks her, gets the ball at his feet, and moves it along. All, uh, all this without giving away a foul. Oh, dude, that's like clean too. That's like super clean possession based. Look at that. And you just have to hold it too. That's actually pretty nuts. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fault it. Like that's actually pretty nuts. Uh, this mechanic works with all players, so you can use this to win the ball in advanced areas and create shooting opportunities. Let's see the example that he used here. Ooh, even the attackers. Look at this. They're not all gonna be amazing at it, but it's a it's a way to defend, right? Instead of you doing the tackle itself, then you get the goal scoring opportunity here. Yeah, that makes sense actually. Um, if you press X or A with a player that has the anticipate play style, then you could trigger a manual interception. Rest assured that will reach for the ball. Oh, that's actually pretty crazy. Yeah, okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I've already posted these clips, but see how the CLO makes the players automatically charge for the ball as soon as they see the line. This allows for quick breakaways like the one below. Oh my goodness, look at that! Ah, that's glitched! That's glitched! What is that? Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh, what did I just see, bro? What did I just see? Oh my goodness, man. Oh, oh my goodness. That's disgusting. Look at the charge by Grimaldo. Oh no, this is the video we just saw. <clears throat> Using this mechanics allowed me to go 10 games unbeaten division rivals one way away from division six promotion with this team. Okay, I guess he puts Thiago. Look at how crazy that his. Oh, dude. Grimaldo with Frimpong. Thiago Silva with Bremer. They get the links. He puts Barella in the same team. Wow. That's actually nuts. Please drop a follow retweet. Yeah, guys, we'll be leaving a link in the description up top, man. But this is definitely. This is definitely worth looking into. This is 100% worth looking into. Now, the thing is, though, guys, is that it is possible for you to do from tackling as well, but it's not consistent. It's not consistent at all. It's really random. So this is more for the consistency of them doing it on a consistent basis. Keyword consistent. But yeah, that's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty insane. In th uh, that's a pretty insane thread that we're looking at, obviously. That is actually pretty crazy. Dude, this Chiesa clip is, is like, is, this is insane. Where is it? This one? Bro, look at this. What is that, bro? Oh my goodness gracious. Always looking for ways to break the game. I mean, this game is broken in general. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? 
That's so crazy, man. I wish he had his controller on the screen to see like when he times it and stuff. Because he's saying to press the button. He's not saying to, to hold it, right? So that's the thing. So I, I guess that's something you have to kind of adjust to when you're actually using it. As he says, if you press X and A with a player that has the anticipate play style. I don't know if it's like a hold situation. So it's, it's one of those types of things we would have to see in game. But guys, these, these defensive animations that he's showing, they're very obvious ones, man. Like, I've definitely never seen these animations happen on a consistent basis. And they're very, very possession-based tackles as well. So this is going to definitely be a really, really crazy, like, thing to look into, 100%. So this is for Bruiser and Anticipate. So either or, Bruiser is going to be that aggressiveness to push into the attacker. Anticipate is going to be for the possession-based tackles. Both of them is going to be an insane thing to work with in general. So if an SBC like Bremer comes out, Fabinho, any of these types of guys... They're going to be like must-do SBCs. It's going to be crazy, man. Oh, yeah. That's going to be nuts, bro. I have to get used to this then, man. Because that's, that's, that's a difference of play style for sure. Definitely have to get used to that one. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Uh, it, it's, it's, something that's, uh, it's something that's really, really worth looking into. Like These animations are very, very noticeable, man. Right? Just that, just that body to push him off. That Chiesa clip is the, is the most disgusting one, though, for sure. I don't think anything touches that Chiesa clip. Look at that, bro. That is nuts, man. You would just have to have a tactic so Thiago Silva is like the slower player. You would have to have a tactic that's not as, like, um, aggressive, right? So here's the thing, right? Because he's showing an example of players that you can use that have this. I'm going to tell you guys this right now, man. If you're using Hernandez and Skriniar... That's already going to be insane because that's like the League One PSG French link ups, right? Like it, that's already going to be a really, really big one to work with. 100%. There's going to be some guys from the Saudi League like Shuamane. Shuamane is going to probably be the best CDM in the game if that's the case. That's crazy, man. Bremer looks really. Bremer's going to be a top one, top, top level one. Good links, Syria, Brazilian, like. Wow. Yeah, guys, look into this mechanic, man. Definitely worth. Uh, it's worth, uh, it's worth analyzing. I'll tell you that for free. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Again, guys, be sure to check out the comment section. We'll be leaving a link to the thread down below. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.